small streams that I might not have their names off head, but we all know that the climate and uh, the patterns have changed. When it's not, when it's not supposed to rain, it's raining. When it's hot, it's very hot. But a lot of cycads were destroyed. Where you're seeing pipes, there was a lot of concentration. These are plants that have lived for about 320 million years. They have been around for generations and generations. And actually, they have outlived the era of the dinosaurs. That's a very unique thing that they have been around for forever. Like they're always here. The connection. The main challenge we get is that people try to, uh, people are cultivating and burning them as they plant food. So we are trying to sensitize them that we can have tourists coming over here to see these cycads. And then the people in the communities can always earn something by probably guiding, selling a few things, a few items. Yeah, it can be a source of income. Tourism can always promote this particular area. Uh, they're under threat, so the first thing, now that we have had the experience as the Uganda Tourism Board, we, we are intentionally going to engage uh, the conservation partners like Uganda Wildlife Authority, NFA and the others to draw their attention to the importance of this plant so that its conservation status can be made aware to everybody and uh, a plan put in place you know, to conserve it. And what we need to do is put the basic infrastructure in place, tell the story, promote it. And I think it provides a huge opportunity in diversifying the tourism in Uganda. There has been a lot of concentration on, on the big five or the big animals, but here is an opportunity now to try and give people a different experience with the plants.